everybody welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i make ribbon trim tutus stay tuned you'll need scissors ribbon tool on the bolt elastic and a sewing machine a cutting board also helps but it's not necessary so first you're going to start with your tool on the bolt Typically, the bolts that I buy come about 54 inches wide by however many feet long. And they're going to come where they're folded. The fabric is going to be folded over on one side and open on the other side. So I put the folded side closest to me and line it up on my cutting board. This is some fabric that I bought from the craft store and I had them cut it. So it's not on the bolt, but it's the exact same thing. So you're going to start by unrolling your fabric. I like to have the folded side closest to me, but it doesn't really matter too much. You're going to roll it out to the length that you want and then cut. Typically, I like to cut the tool the length that I want the skirt to be plus one inch to allow room for the elastic. I usually use half inch elastic. I just like that better than the one inch. That's what I do. So after I've cut my piece, then I fold, fold it up and move it to the side. Now I know a lot of people roll all of the tool out and cut the entire length that they need for the tutu, but I like to do it this way. One, because it saves space. I don't have to get on the floor and roll out the tool because most people don't have a desk or table long enough to roll out the length of tool that you'll need. Also, it allows me to mix colors how I like. So even when I'm doing a solid color, I still cut my tool this way. This is just how I do it. And I will leave the measurements on my blog, DIYRacy.com, later on after this video is posted. So here is glitter tool. This is my arch nemesis. I really don't like working with glitter, glitter tool, but I love how it looks. I don't like it because it leaves glitter all over everything. This pink glitter is going to be with me forever now. In fact, my husband went to work with it on his head this morning. I do find that baby wipes help wipe it up pretty good, but still, this glitter is gonna be here forever. So I always cut the glitter tool last. So I cut the glitter the same way that I cut the other colors. And now I have all of my colors. Now, I typically use a certain number of pieces. I think I used 12. I used 12 pieces for this tutu, and this was a size 6, 7 youth. And I cut it 21 inches long, so that'll make my skirt around 10, 11 inches long. That's what I like to do. Those are my measurements. And so what I do is I open the tool up and fold it over on itself, and then I stitch the ribbon along that open end. So see, I have the two ends pinched together and then I am going to sew on the ribbon. And I'm just using these contrasting colors because I hoped that that would help you be able to see it better. So after you've cut your square, you're gonna open the whole thing up and fold it on itself. So it'll be fold the long way, so your tool should be super long. Now again, this is just how I do it. Um, I love to learn new things though, so let me know how you cut your tool and how you do your ribbon trim tutus in the comment section below. Once I've sewn the ribbon on, then I like to flip it over to the other side, which is now the folded end. And I run about one inch seam allowance on the other side, so I sewed about the one inch mark. You do have to know how to sew to make a ribbon trim tutu. I don't think that you can do this no sew and at least get this similar look. So I am still going to do the e-course. I said in the last video that we moved and so that kind of threw me back a little bit, but the e-course is going to come up very, very soon. So if you have not signed up for that and you do not know how to sew and you would like to learn how to sew some basic stitches that can really help you grow your business please click the link in the description box below and you can go to my website and sign up for those upcoming e-course classes. 
So I did all the colors, all the strips that I cut, even the glitter tool, and now I'm using my favorite elastic tool, and I will leave a link to where you can find that. I also did a video recently on the ways that I like to pull elastic, and this is my number one elastic puller. And so you're just gonna start threading your elastic through that seam allowance that you left up there at the top. Make sure you catch that end, because if you don't, you're gonna pull all the elastic all the way through the tool, and you're just gonna have to do it all over. So make sure you catch it. I put a safety pin on the end to hold it, and then just keep going, pulling your elastic through. After you get the elastic through one piece, then you're just gonna slide on the second piece. Glitter tool is kind of tough to put on. It's just stiffer, it's a stiffer fabric but it's so, so pretty, so we have to keep using it no matter what. And once you have them all through, you're gonna take the two pieces of the elastic, those ends, and just stitch them together. You can also use hot glue here. I usually just stitch them together, but I have used hot glue also. Also, when you are threading the elastic through the tool, make sure that you're not tugging at the elastic too much because you will, will ruin the elasticity. It won't be stretchy anymore, so you wanna be careful. So this tutu is going to be paired with this Trolls jacket that I make and that's what I'll be working on this afternoon. So I hope this video was informative. I hope that you found this to be helpful. If you have any further questions about how to make a ribbon trim tutu, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I will try to get back to you. And let me know what you think about this video. Let me know how you do it. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button and click the bell so that you can be notified of upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.